What is up guys and welcome back to this series. Today we'll be going over the peptide ipamorelin, what it does, how to research it properly, side effects, benefits, all that stuff. If you're interested in doing your own research when it comes to liquid SARMs or peptides, including ipamorelin, be sure to click the very first link down in the description box below. That'll take you to my guys over at beyond-research.com where you can purchase peptides, liquid SARMs, and even the sterile water needed to reconstitute these peptides. You can use my code and 10 for 10 percent off and if you buy two or more liquid SARMs you automatically get five dollars off and you can stack that deal with my code if you're wanting SARM capsules you do still have to call beyond max right there on the screen give them a call they'll take your order right over the phone and if you order before 3 p.m eastern time it will ship out the same exact day beyond researchcom and beyond max have the highest quality the best customer service and the fastest shipping if you have any questions when it comes to beyond max beyond research this peptide any other peptide SARM, steroids anything be sure to shoot me an email anchorfitness at gmail.com and i'll get you straight and don't forget guys i do still have my SARM guide and my anabolic guide available i believe it is the second link down in the description box below it walks you through the exact application of those compounds, PCT, need to know stuff, all of it. All right, ipamorelin, it is yet another peptide that is a growth hormone releasing peptide. It essentially tells your body, it tells your pituitary gland to release more growth hormone. The pituitary gland is that pea-sized gland that you find at the base of the brain that are responsible for regulating an organism's endocrine-based functionality. Very complicated stuff, I know. But some of the rules of the pituitary gland are regulation of body growth, regulation of thyroid gland function, pain relief, and regulation of temperature. Now, since ipamorelin simply tells your body to release more growth hormone, it will not suppress your natural growth hormone like synthetic HGH will. You're not replacing anything. You're simply just telling your body to make more. This is yet another one of those compounds that is very similar to MK677 and hexarelin. Now, one major difference is that ipamorelin can actually decrease your appetite where MK677, as we know, takes it way the fuck up. Now, a lot of these GHRPs are going to be very, very similar with just minor differences. Now, the one that contains these small details that you like, that is the ones that you will or should choose for your research. That's really all it comes down to. Now, once you inject ipamorelin, a signal is sent to the brain that tells the pituitary gland and the hypothalamus to release growth hormone. Now, the key word there is selective, remember that. Now, as we know with synthetic growth hormones, it can cause bone and cartilage growth, but with the ipamorelin, well, with most GHRPs, you don't get any of that extra bullshit. It's kind of like SARMs and anabolics. The whole point behind SARMs is that it's meant to be selective, which means you get all the good shit without all the bad shit. Now, is that 100% true all the time? Well, no, because there's nothing on this planet that is side effect free, but that is essentially the science behind it or what it is meant to do. Ipamorelin will increase cell synthesis, elevate IGF, and increase ghrelin in the stomach, which helps the release of GH and actually control hunger. These functions all work together to shuttle nutrients, promote fat loss, and promote lean muscle gain. All right, let's talk dessert. What are the main benefits of this bad boy? They're mainly going to be similar to other GHRPs. These benefits are stupid long and I have them written down. These benefits include increase in muscle strength and mass, joint and ligament repair, improvement in skin quality, increased energy and vitality, essentially a better sense of well-being, decrease in body fat, stronger bones, anti-aging, and an increase in your immune system. So rather it's MK677, hexarelin, ipamorelin, or just good old synthetic HGH, a lot of these side effects are always going to be the same specifically the um, sense of well-being and the anti-aging. That is something that is huge with growth hormone and GHRPs is that you get a better sense of well-being and you get the anti-aging effect. Human growth hormone was always called the fountain of youth. Now, ipamorelin is said to be the best, safest, and most effective GHRP out of all of them. Now, they're making this claim because it stimulates growth hormone secretion, but doesn't mess with your uh, prolactin or your cortisol. Now, there 
There's been a decent amount of clinical research on this peptide, but there's still plenty more that needs to be done. But so far, it is showing very positive. A lot of these peptides, um, and even SARMs or SARMs or SARM-like compounds, they show so much promise, and it's really unfortunate that a lot of these studies aren't being done. Of course, I don't have to say why. I'm sure you guys know why, um, because it's always a money grab at something. But if you really dive into peptides, if you really dive into SARMs or SARM-like compounds, there is so much positivity there. There is so much potential to just solve a lot of issues that we have as humans or in the medical field, but they're just not being done, they're not being funded, and a lot of people just aren't moving forward with it. Peptides and SARMs are like the electric car, what was that, back in like the 80s, early 90s? The people, the companies, the big companies, they just don't want it, right? It's gonna threaten um, their well-being, and they wanna keep just shoving us full of other fucking medications, prescriptions, and other bullshit. Cycling and dosage. If you don't know by now, then you need to turn this channel off and go back to day one. This is going to be best injected in your fat. I have a lot of guys send me like oral versions or even like nasal sprays. There's a lot of companies out there now that sell nasal sprays. Those do not have very good bioavailability, especially the nasal sprays. Just stick with the fucking injecting. It's not that hard. You can't feel it. The needle is this fucking big. It's super tiny. Grab a little bit of fat, inject it, and move on with your day. Now, I'm gonna give you guys a couple um, dosages here. One's gonna be for like performance when it comes to um, specifically lean muscle or gains in the gym. And the other one we'll talk about more of well-being and anti-aging. When it comes to the performance side, it is recommended to inject 300 micrograms three times a day. We've talked about that before. Those three doses a day can be a huge and major pain. I think you're fine with doing two, especially if you work a nine to five. It's like not, it's not like you're gonna take this to your job and put it in, you know, the fucking refrigerator at work next to Karen's, um, you know, Lemain. So you can get by with two shots a day. You can just split it up 450 micrograms in the morning and 450 micrograms at night. The only thing is that you kind of have to do no food before or after roughly an hour. So no, no food within an hour before and no food roughly an hour after. Now, if you're looking for the anti-aging effect and the overall well-being that comes along with it, you can cut that down to one injection daily of 200 to 300 micrograms. That's essentially how it works with growth hormone. Um, with growth hormone, if you want the anti-aging effect, you're doing, you know, maybe one IU, maybe two IUs. And then if you wanna get up into the three or four or even fuck, I don't know, even five IUs for the more like performance and lean muscle and do the crazy shit, it's kind of how this works. You're essentially just cutting down the dosage and just getting these small benefits, which is that anti-aging and well-being. As far as cycling, again, it's going to depend on your goals. If you really just want it for like the fat loss, anti-aging, well-being, you can run it for 12 to 24 weeks. Even the small end of this is still going to be long. That's what, three months is kind of the shortest you wanna run this. And that's with any real growth hormone secretagogue or synthetic HGH, is you have to run it for a decent amount of time. Now, if you want it for the performance and say body composition side of things, then you're gonna to wanna to run it longer at 24 to 48 weeks. And you wanna make sure you're being consistent with this stuff, um, consistent dosing, not missing doses, uh, you know, sticking at the same time every single day. Try to get as close as possible and be as consistent as possible with this stuff. And just like anything else, training, diet, cardio, you need all of that to get to your end goal. This stuff is no different than any other supplement. It is meant to just supplement everything you are already doing. Now, what about the veggies, the side effects? Um, side effects are gonna be extremely mild with most users. You know, you got the possible irritation at the injection site, which I always thought was just like something that didn't happen because it's never happened to me. But something I am realizing with these peptides is that a lot of times I will get that irritation. It's almost like a little mosquito bite. So that 
I have found to be actually quite common. And one thing with ipamorelin is they say there is some potential for dry mouth. I haven't experienced that with any other peptide, but supposedly with ipamorelin, that is a possibility. And then other side effects like uh, headaches, drowsiness, upset stomach, nausea, those are potentially there, but they are pretty rare and not typical. When it comes to stacking with other peptides, I don't really ever talk about this, but I get asked a lot about this. If you wanna stack ipamorelin with other stuff, there are a lot of good options. Um, CJC1295 with DAC, that's a phenomenal stack as you can hit more receptors and therefore have more growth hormone released. Um, you could also do a stack of three with uh, ipamorelin, CJC, and IGF-1-LR3. That would be a great all around stack for increasing GH and your insulin growth like factor. Because as we know, anytime you increase your GH, your IGF-1 is going to follow it. It kind of works in tandem. So that three stack would be great if you want those two hormones to specifically be raised. Now I'm taking IGF-1 um, LR3 right now and I fucking love it. I do it like 30, 45 minutes before pre-workout. I'm going to get my bloods done here in a few weeks just to see what it's doing, if it's actually raising my IGF-1 because that is a good way to know if you have real shit. If you're injecting synthetic HGH, if you're injecting a peptide like IGF-1, if you're doing it for a long enough time, say, you know, at least four weeks, then your IGF-1 and your HGH should be raised. And that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Have any of you guys out there used it? If you have, leave your comments down below. Something you will realize is that a lot of these peptides are gonna be based around HGH secretion and stuff like that. It's always really gonna come down to what your preference is. What small little detail do you like about a certain peptide that will make you want to research it? That's really about it, guys. Fitness at gmail.com. If you have any questions, check out Beyond Research, check out Beyond Max. We also have a new flavor of Anabar. We just released the flavor. Well, we just released the name of the flavor uh, yesterday. The white chocolate berry berry crunch is fucking phenomenal. It is by far our best bar, I believe. It is actually incredible. If you like that Captain Crunch-like taste, that's the one for you. And personally, I like the white chocolate. I'm not trying to be racist or anything like that, but man, I just love the white chocolate. It's my absolute fave. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Any questions, let me know. I'm out of here. I appreciate you, I love you, and I will see you at the next video. See you guys.